this summer coming up. To announce the Arizona Cardinals selection, please welcome from Southern University, selected in the third round in 1991 by the Cardinals, 2014 Hall of Fame inductee, defensive back Aeneas Williams. With the 52nd pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Troy Nicholas, tight end, Notre Dame. This is a kid that I got to see at the end of last year against Stanford Live. He looks like the prototypical blocking tight end, but don't underestimate his ability to get downfield and catch the football. I think that's the best part of improvement of his game as he's developed going on. And Charles, when you watch him, he moves better than people think. At 270 pounds, remember, he's only played the position for two years. He came to Notre Dame as a highly re recruited outside linebacker. This kid's got special ability. He should become the best blocking tight end in football if he determines he wants to. He's got the ability to do that. Now let's watch him. There he is, not in line, run a little seven route, which is to the corner. You can see how athletic he is. He's very good, short and intermediate. He's not a four or five guy, but he's an inline blocker. He can get down the field. Here's a deep crossing route on naked boot. Again, good hands as he reaches down for the football. And finally, as a run blocker, get a good look at him right here. He collapses it down. That is a big, big double-team block. Notre Dame's history of tight ends, guys, has been phenomenal. You don't even see Pavaro on there, either. You're just Derek, talking about recent. Derek Brown, go back a ways. Yep. And you can create separation with your physicality. It doesn't have to be yep. your sheer speed. We saw a lot of wide-open catches because the scheme's going to get him open based on some other things. But that inline, that particularly as a good blocker, the play action, the boots and the waggles, you can use your physicality to get open. And, and remember, they signed John Carlson, another Notre Dame tight end, and they signed Veld here as a left tackle. This is a team that's ready to compete right now. They went 10-6 and six without playoffs last year. And I know his name is Nicholas, but he's another member of the bloodline. He's a yep. cousin of Jake Matthews, who was chosen last night. And his uncle Bruce is 